The text to text transfer transformer model or T5 is an NLP model from Google. It's an encoder decoder network that inputs a text string and outputs a text string. T5 is a versatile model that can easily handle common NLP tasks like text summarization, question answering, translating the language and text classification. However, in this video, we'll fine tune the T5 model to generate tags for Stack Overflow questions. Hey there, welcome to Learn Open CV. First things first, why are tags so relevant? Well, first, why make information retrieval very easy? And having consistency in your tags is crucial for that. You don't want one question to be tagged as OpenCV while the other is tagged as OpenCV4 or maybe OpenCV Python. This would create a lot of hassle when searching for questions. To train our T5 model, we'll be using the 60K Stack Overflow questions with quality rating Kaggle dataset. It contains attributes like the ID, the question title, its body, its tags, the creation date and its quality for over 60,000 Stack Overflow questions. Anyway, now on to fine-tuning the T5 model. To follow along with me, open the Learn Open CV blog post link from the description, click on the download code banner, fill in your details and hit enter. You'll receive the starter code link on your email, download it and let's get started. We will start by downloading the required libraries, Transformer, Datasets, TensorBoard, Centerpiece, and Accelerate. And then download the Kaggle dataset using this convenient Dropbox link. Unzip this dataset and then import the Python libraries, PyTorch, the submodules from Transformers needed for training, and datasets. We will be fine-tuning the small model for 10 epochs with batch size as 48 and 16 parallel processors. The result will be stored in results underscore T5 small and the max context length of the input tokens is 256. This is the training configuration. Increasing the max context length will theoretically improve the results but will also demand more GPU memory during training. If these concepts are difficult for you to grasp, you should check out OpenCV University's TensorFlow and Keras Bootcamp. Go to opencv.org slash university slash free courses to know more. Next, we will prepare our dataset using the load dataset function. Pass the CSV files and here are all the column headers for both the datasets. The train dataset has 45,000 questions and the validation dataset has 15,000 questions, 75% 25% split. And this is an example data. Next, we will tokenize the data set. Here, we will use this function to prepare the text data for model inputs and targets. The question title and the body becomes the model input and the tags become the targets for these inputs. The model has to learn to predict the tags. The tokenizer converts the textual data to numbers, which is easier to understand by the machine. Now map this function to the train and validation dataset to get your tokenized data. And here is a sample output. The input, attention mask, and the labels will be sent to the model for training. Next, we will prepare the model for fine tuning. First, download the pre-trained T5 model and map it to the available device, GPU or CPU. Now configure the training arguments using the previously defined training configurations. Here we will train the model for mixed precision using FP16 equal to true option. And finally, call trainer.train to start training. The loss kept decreasing during training, so it was a success. Before we move on to inference, save this tokenizer. Now download the input data from the Dropbox link and unzip it. Then load the saved model and the tokenizer from the results directory. 
We'll be using this handy function for inference. First, it prepares the input text for inference. Then, it is passed to the model to generate the encoded output. Pass this output to the tokenizer to decode it. And here are the results with the ground truths. So, that's all about fine-tuning the T5 model on a tag-generated task. If you like this video, why don't you check out our comprehensive video on LLMs or other videos in this playlist. Do comment on what you'd like to see next and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.